So I'll go over. First thing, let's go start at like leave base at t on yeah. time, which is good. Uh, can I get? Pardon? Can I give like? Can I preface this real quick? So this is like my third game on Shivana. Um, I picked her up recently with like the half off fluorescent sale. Okay. Uh, I looked up on this one website like how to build her, like leveling order and like what items are decent. Yeah. And I asked my friend, and he said like she's a farm heavy jungler. Okay. So that was what I was trying to focus on. Okay. Um, that is right. She's farm heavy, and build wise, builds fluctuate game to game. There are generally one or two or maybe three items that people will generally build almost every game. But you do very dramatic, let's say, for, for example, in this team, I see that they have one mage. You probably won't build MR, especially because you support. So any MR in the build probably will be removed, and you'll probably get something like an omen with ninja tabbies and maybe even a thorn mail so, and dead mans. So like the, the offensive items stay relatively consistent. Um, the major. It's mostly like depends on how like fed you are, and depends on a lot of variables. You build what's most effective in that game, and depending on how much gold you have. If you have more gold, you buy more damage. If you have less gold, you generally build more tanky. All right. Also depends on like your characters. I'm not saying go full tank vein because you're 0 and 5. Yeah, I just followed um, what was the name of the website? OPGG, I think that's what it's okay. called. I just did that, and I just followed uh, yeah. like the most popular one. Ever so build it. The first thing I noticed is that once you do leave base. You really don't get so the first two minutes. The jungler is not really two minutes, more like a minute and a half, minute forty seconds. You want to stand around and see where people are because this tells you nothing. You standing basically in this bush tells you if they're trying to kill you right at that moment. If also you not being in this bush gives them the option and opening to basically walk into this bush and just be like, oh, there's a Shivana over here. Let's just kill her because she's standing there. Like if where do you stand? Pardon? Like at um. Where should I stand? Is it between like the gap between the dragon pit and like the mid lane wall? Um, yeah. Because like I don't I don't want to stand in a place where the enemy can me can like see me because then that like it lets them know where I'm starting. So that's why I normally just stand in that brush. If they see you, you see them, and it's not necessarily bad them knowing where you started because you're already revealing that because you're getting a leash. Unless it's like super high level mind games at Challenger, which we're not playing. You're playing like, let's say like low silver games, and it's, it, if they don't use the information, but the information is there. Because your bot lane's going to be late, means you start a bot side. Same thing with their jungler, it's going to be like that almost every game. Okay. So basically like whatever knowledge I was trying to hide, they're going to get it anyway. They can have it anyways, they, just, they probably don't use it, but where to stand? Um, let's see, let me minimize. Is this in slow-mo, or am I yeah, just dropping, it's, like, it's mad frames? It's super slow-mo, it's super <laughs> slow. I'm just talking, that's why it's super slow, yeah. So where okay. to stand, you can pretty much stand anywhere here is fine. Because if you're in this bush, because you can get there probably the same time as them, because river-wise, it's be middle of the ground, like, same time. You want to play it they're safe? Like, they're kind of scary, though. They have a Lux. Like, okay, then fine, you can just stand I'd, in this bush. I'd probably right? go in, like, yeah, the, the more southern one, like, something like that. But I feel like that's still really risky because if like they like walk in on me, if they fly like, I'll, have to, I'll so, have to waste I'll have to waste flash because I'll just get like lux. If, so if you're standing here, you have vision of all that, and if you see them, then you go okay. Let me walk away and ward. But I mean that's still within like like her snare, isn't it? Yeah, but they still won't see you if they snare you. They still can't hit uh, you. Like even even if it let's say she's cast her snare from this spot over here from from let's say what's it called hypothetical. I guess I'm scared of like a blind snare for no reason. If she blind snares you from that bush, any of those two axes is yellow. Let's say Lux blind snares you from over here or over here, they still have no damage to kill you. They still have to walk up to you just to hit you. Like it won't kill you because it, okay. let's say let's say Jack starts stun too. Let's say Jen starts W. Which they won't, but let's just say they do. And they still manage to, let's say all three of those stuns hit you, you have a chance of possibly dying, which that's literally worst case scenario, which also assumes you getting hit by literally everything, which is almost negligible. It's, 
so unlikely that it's just super safe to see. You'll All see right, it. So at, it's... Yeah. You All can right. see like if you watch any game of like higher MMR, they just all run to pretty much river. Just because it's really safe. It gives you a vision of things out. Because this just tells you that Hello? I'm doing... Pardon? Hello? Oh, uh, no. I... Sorry. My internet dipped for a sec. Yeah. yeah, it's really safe to stay in this bush. You know, like, even out here. Because even if they do see you, let's say you stand... Let's give more hypotheticals, I guess. Let's say you stand over here instead. That will give you vision of all of this. And you can literally see them before like they, they stun you and you, you can dodge it at that range. When I was watching LCS, like I noticed how like the, um, they always like start up in like a line, like yeah. blocking all the entrances. Yeah. But like no one on my team does that, so where's the yeah. best place for me to stand you still, if my you still do that. Are... You still you still try to like even if your team doesn't. Is it do better that? if I go in like motley and dry bush or is it better to be like in the the like the X that you drew earlier? That's debatable. You can debate that. The reason it's solo queue and and Probability wise, people usually invade from this side, so you might as well just stand here. Okay. Because that makes sense. Less people, like probability wise, don't really invade from here. It's unlikely. That's why you just guard this instead. It's less likely that they path through down here, which is more awkward for them. Uh, let me find a pen, dude. I'm gonna. Ah, wait, you're, you're recording, right? So yeah. You can like send me it later. Yeah. I was about to like grab paper and take notes. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. And yeah. here's here. A start W. Cool. You stand still for what do, I don't know, two seconds. What is that one? So here you want to start something again to the habit of is kiting upwards as you do your camp between your auto attacks. That leaves you a little bit healthier. Let's say you dodge one auto attack. That's 50 damage you can negate. Just nitpicking, right? Here you stand still for whatever reason this is. I think I was on Reddit, dude. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I pressed W and I was on Reddit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, <anyways. Yeah. laughs> So yeah, kite upwards. Also, you can use your pot right around now. I think you save it, so blue buff, yeah. Start using. You don't want to use it super late, just because in case Jax does come, you want to be healthy. There's also no downside to using your pot right oh, now. Jax fucked me this game. Spoiler alert. Okay. So there's no point of you saving it till like, you're this low. Because... So should I just like, double pot here? Um, I just no, have... no, double pot. You can just use one pot like when you're like at three quarters. Just because if you use it, let's say now, you stay at this HP. Right? If you use it when you're at, yeah. like, over here, you're going to stay at that HP. You're letting yourself pretty much just take damage. The pot's just going to negate the damage. Right? And then you'll heal up, obviously, and get more HP now, right? But if you use that pot yeah. earlier, it's just, you'd stay healthier. And it's also smite is, heals you off, does it tell you? Because you missed HP. Um... Yeah, so 100... Then what's oh. something? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the wiki. Wiki. I think it said 70 plus 66. So like 136 is what it would heal. Level. Right unit something. Else. I'm you know, just I'm max HP. Oh, back. Okay, so it's based on your own health. Oh, that's interesting. That's a good thing to know. Usually save it for like the last, just in case he does come or something. Unless... I still haven't used my smite. What the hell am I doing? Wait, did I use one charge? Hey, easy, easy. Just slow motion, so it looks like you have two charges. But cooldowns aren't synced unless I back up. And... Oh, okay, okay. You, use it. you just use it really early. You want to prefer using it later. You also want to use your pot. That way you stay healthy. Because again, if you used it like let's say around half HP, you'd be above half HP, which would because right now, first of all, those little like little healing things and kiting and moving upwards and that little pause and everything, uh -huh. that would delay you by ten seconds. The reason I know that's because I play jungle and I just know when people are done what camps, which these ten seconds delay because you should be done at two thirty. Jack's can already be done the scuttle crab, and it'd be just really awkward for you. Here you do scuttle crab, but you get away with it, whatever. Just Jax is like super slow and finishes everything at like 255, three minutes almost. He sees you over here. Here. Pressure. Look at your mid lane. I'm assuming you just saw, oh, Jax. Oh, he's going to go mid. He sees him, right? He can back. No, just back this guy up. It's all, You can debate it. It's like, oh, maybe he can kill me. Okay, whatever. But if he, you can't fight him, but at least try to threaten him so this doesn't happen. 
Yes, Fizz could have saved himself. Yes, he had a bunch of options as well, like not going aggressive, not being stupid. You can still pressure yeah. the jacks, and it would just reduce yeah. the chance of pardon. Um, I saw Fizz like kind of like around half HP, okay. and I caution pinged it because I didn't want to really take that fight because. Like, I'm not super comfortable with the champion, and I know Jax just, like, mercs everyone early. Is this a ranked game? Yeah. You probably want to pick up champions you're comfortable on. And as for... I mean, I played her a few times, but I'm, like, I'm so, it, like there's so many different matchups and stuff. So, uh, like, I don't know when I can fight and when I cannot fight. It's not for the 2v2, it's more for the reason of saving your Fizz or delaying the Jax. Because let's, let's say Jax hesitates by one second, second and a half by pathing towards you, this guy would actually live. Oh, uh, so basically I just I make the jacks not want to show up instantly. Yeah. And like the few second delay that I create would may have saved the fizz. Picture picture this guy standing literally So if I just like when when I saw him coming down from his um his thingies, if I just walked towards him he would have either gone yeah. towards me or like stood in the same spot. Yeah. Which would have given Fizz a gap to get away. Or if you for some reason blindly path towards the fizz still, whatever, just walk away. But it gives them a lot more. So here you spam. First of all, don't ping once. Because people are blind as fuck, especially on lower ranks. Just spam ping the shit out of this cat and be like, you're going to die, run away. You also should not be doing gromp. You should be going down mid lane. Because mid your mid laner just died. You want to farm this, get some experience. It's free experience, free gold. It would give you level four. Because let's say you didn't do gromp, you'd be at what? One third of the way? Right? Let's say instead of pathing over there, you, you ran mid, okay? Let's count how many minions. One. Three. Four. You could have gotten a minimum of four creeps. If you were a lot more greedy, you can get like five, six, seven, or whatever. Depending but, I mean, Fizz got back in time. Yeah. He would have just gotten mad at that it took his... Uh, is like CS. Okay, so like, you're caring about their emotions because... But I mean, like, there was no reason for me to go there. Like, nothing... Yes, there is. It's free experience in gold. It didn't hit turret, though. There's free experience in gold on the map. You're just taking all the resources possible, then flate yourself and make yourself big and buy items. Because levels, especially right. on the jungle, is huge. You can influence that across everywhere. A level 6 top laner, that's great. That affects like one champion, the other top laner. The level six Aurelia, who the fuck cares? Does bot lane care about Aurelia's level six? No. Do people care? So is Pardon? so how much experience did I miss up by not running there? Um, it also butchers whatever pathing you're doing, which is this Raptors camp. I wouldn't recommend doing. It's not. It's not much that you missed out on. It's pretty much a bit more than the Gromp. It's just that it's really so, free, it's really easy, and you also just pressure the they call it the gin. If this guy actually backs off and doesn't hit you, then you get all like pretty much almost all of this. Like he, yes, he just comes back in time, but I'm saying let's say if he instantly he doesn't instantly back. I'm saying I for some reason he does back because he doesn't understand what's happening. You could just take all of this. If he just stays as so, your pardon. So is it worth exposing my location for that little bit of experience to get off like three minutes? Yeah, your, your location isn't that crazy valuable. Like it's valuable, but it's also if they're actually tracking your position, they would already know where you are. Yes, you're making it easier when you show up on the map, but it's worth getting the experience in gold because you want to get there as fast as possible. You want to get your items as fast as possible and. Telling them where you are, yeah, it's a like it's something, but as long as you're getting something for it, it's not the end of the world. So this yeah, is so I'm basically like trade trading like knowledge for a benefit, and that benefit is greater than whatever knowledge they would gain from knowing my position. Here, you should not be doing this. You get executed, and I was just like, you don't. This is just bad. You have enough for boots. You have enough for your increased. No, you don't have enough boots. You have enough for your increased jungle item. Just get the jungle item and just get a control ward. Instead, you decide so, to get greedy, and here you just die. This, if they press yeah, tab, that, that that was that was, that didn't happen. That oh. was, yeah. <laughs> so if they're smart, which they aren't, you would literally lose your entire jungle. It's already down, but I'm saying, if they were smart, they'd press tab. Jax would be like, okay, sure. So she she was she ran topside. She had she died a minute later, which means she's doing Krugs. 
they don't expose this information, they're lower ranks, they don't use this, but you dying like that leads to at higher ranks, them having a ward over here, them having a ward over here, you pretty much being screwed and them knowing exactly where you are always. If you ever get executed in like higher ranks. So avoid that at all costs. Also you should have backed probably before the Raptors camp. And if you went mid lane, you could have just backed after doing mid lane. Then you'd have every camp up and you can just clear them. Also, you haven't used any of your trinkets. Moments you could have used your trinkets would have been in cases like when you see Jax ganking top lane or something around here. Something around here, you could have just warded this or something just to have vision for Viz or not a big deal. Or you could have mm -hmm. or you could have gone mid lane and warded somewhere in your area in case Jax decides to do your Gromp because he's actually smart, but he isn't, so he wouldn't even take your Gromp. Because if you did go up mid lane, anyways. Go back to where we were, which was after Krugs, which you had about a thousand gold. You buy your challenging smite. And you buy a attack speed dagger. You're better off buying boots. Oh dude, I'm to sleep, holy shit. Alright, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. You're better off buying boots. Because boost gets you around the map, and it gets you to the camps faster. And killing the camps faster is nice. Getting to them is a bit more valuable. Also, yes, this gives you technically more damage as you fight people. But you get to land an extra auto attack with boots. With this, you 12% attack speed of, what is this? Not even 100. So, I was actually thinking about buying boots here. But uh, something in the back of my head was like, Shivana farms more. So I felt like the attack speed would go like really good with my jungle item. That's why I went with that instead of boots. It is not bad. It's just boots would be more useful because running towards the camps faster would save you, let's say, three seconds. The dagger makes you kill things like not even yeah. half a second faster. It's it's negligible attack speed almost. It's twelve. Okay, so so basically like. In terms of like priority, like first thing I should do is upgrade the jungle item, and then immediately after that, just get boots. And you also want to have control words. You can't have enough if you don't have enough for boots, or if you have enough gold after your boots, buy control words. You also could have done honestly gotten two control words instead of the stagger, because vision, especially on jungle and support, is extremely valuable. You go for this dragon. You get a. You, do you know? Do you know where Jax is right now? Uh, so I was listening to you. I forgot like where I am in this game. Um, I think he's probably. I have no idea. I wasn't paying attention. There's, just, there's literally no way of you knowing where this guy actually is. He should for he should be actually be here. For some reason, he knows he's over here. How I know it's because I watched the game. I memorized things. He's like almost killed the cat or something. He's for some reason still up there, right? He was here for I don't know how long. He actually keeps here. I'll show you. Can you um? Can you hit the thing. Does it, like is there a way to show off timers? buff timers um no but i'll tell you they take five minutes to respawn and you killed it at like 150 so, i mean it's respawning at because 650. I, I would guess like his location based on like the buff timers that's what i normally do that's that's an okay start keeping track of people but there's a lot more but... keeping track so let's say keeping let's say i'm just gonna i'm gonna track jacks by straight up just okay i know i started blue buff bot lane's late he's at blue buff you're running towards his wolf he's doing his wolves he will be done as wolves in about five seconds. Here, I'll show you in five, four, three, two, one. I'll do this. He's really so thoughtful. Holy shit, he's slow. Whatever. He's super slow. Here. But he's still wait. Holy, that was wow. I didn't realize. Huh. So here he's doing his red buff. Here, then you see him. Let's be just let's be tracking Jax over here. He ganks mid. Wow. He flashes. If you also time his flash. And Jax shows up over here, he's then on top side, he's then ganking top lane. Then you can track this, you know he's top lane. Here, he's still top lane. Here is when you get executed, he's still top lane, he's still top lane. So here he has a few options. Here he's, he should have recalled, he stays top lane, which is unpredictable. He bla he's scrying yeah. orbs over here. I'd, I'd expect him to be honestly over here and ruin your dragon. Because personally... And doing what? He, on the dragon. He'd, he'd just be over here taking his camps and ganking bot lane, but you'd be doing dragon and he'd, and he'd kill you. What happens in 30 seconds? Because he should be doing his, these two camps. He's not. He's camping the Katarina, which is stupid. So, what the Jack should be doing is the Jack should be like, it's a Shivana. Shivana no, hits the dragon just, early. He should be farming his jungle because this is a waste of his time. But, like, okay, so my question is he has the option to go, like, 
hit his uh, Wolves Gromp and Gank Bot. Why yeah. would he go in that direction as opposed to doing like Wraith's Krug's top? Um, is it because the dragon the is just he, he wants to just because of the wave mostly because he was just top already, so he might as well just not spend that time because Katarina won't be there. So like if I was a Jax right now. Okay, it makes sense. I'd probably actually go bot because uh bot lane's pushing in and they're that looks like an easier gank than top lane does. If you look at like Jax's position, like it's atrocious. Like he's just standing here wasting time. She has a dash, she's still like she has barrier still, like it's She's like look at this guy. Like I'm assuming he was not doing this, because if he was smart, he'd actually already be here taking his gromp into his wolves into bot lane. And then while while he's walking bot lane, he probably see you do this dragon. That's what you get away with this. You don't actually know where he is though for the next like this entire time until I think he passes by right over here. Yeah, you know where he is now. You get away with this yeah. because he's there. But when you start this, I was you don't know this. Fuck with this. I was like, I'm just gonna use blasting thing, and then if shit goes south, I'm just gonna flash over the wall and get the fuck out of there. If shit goes south, you literally lost a minute and a half of your time. I mean, what else could I have done with the time, though? So, let's say you didn't do the... Okay, since you already did the Krugs and the Raptors, what you could have done, you can ward, you can see that this guy's, for some reason, walked this way, which means he, has, he hasn't backed, you have backed, which means you can do his Wolves and his Gromp, and he can't contest it, because then you have Challenging Smite and kill him. Or if his whole team, for some reason, decides to be decent and actually collapse, then you have the Blast Cone. The Blast Cone, which is still up, because he didn't randomly cast click on it because he didn't think of that. And you still have flash. If for some Should reason, I clear out my own blast guns? Um, not really. It's just usually you can keep keep them up. They're usually decent to have up. It's just that like I just mentioned that because no one really hits the blast gun randomly to prevent things like that. Jax, right. like Jax could because he has a leap and like whatever, but no one really thinks of that. So you can actually war hop over without blast gun necessary. Anyways, that's besides the point. Mostly like yeah, Jax should be down here and. Best option for you would be, oh, he just walked by over here. He hasn't recalled yet. Cool. Let's just take a jungle. Because that is completely free. Because if they're bot, bot, this bot lane can't even come and help that, Jax. If they come, they instantly die or they lose tower or they lose so much creep in CS. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about, I didn't even think about looking at the, the bot lane health. Yeah. If they, if for some reason the bot lane actually goes into this jungle, you laugh at them. Because you can ignore them. You can honestly flash on her and kill her. If she decides to be stupid. Um, Lux can technically snare you and you can get snared by Jax, but you can flash it if you're actually going to get hit by it. Which, they don't have ridiculous amount of like point and click stun. It's a lot of dodge and you get a lot of movement speed from your W. You, with your W up, you should have around almost 480 movement speed. Yeah, 450. Four, it was 480 at one point. But if you go back, I'll pause it when it's like 480. W. Yeah, it's like you get like 480 depending on like what you're doing and stuff. Wow, holy shit! I didn't realize it gave me movement speed. It gives you a shit ton of movement speed. So if you actually get hit by their skill shots, it's sad. So yeah, you could literally just go in invade a jungle. You can do scuttle crab because this you have no control. You don't even know if it's rewarded, right? You just kind of went. I'm gonna take dragon because I'm Shivana. It gives me bonus stats and it's air, like air drake also isn't even that valuable. So you risking that much for it is eh. So yeah, you could just you also just, you just take. Wait, did you even use your, your super? So yeah, you're just go far, farm whatever at this point because now you don't know where things are and now you're half HP. What are you doing? Uh, also, all the weird the weird execute and pathing leads to you having awkward positioning on the map. So let's just say you didn't do the raptures and the krugs, which were awkward because you could have just backed and got your jungle item. You didn't need to get that much extra gold. Damping the fuck out of your bot lane because Jack just walked down here. This guy, you're gonna chaos this guy, by the way, which you should not do. It, it, it literally, yeah, that was kind of scummy. That was so scummy, dude. Like, I tried to get the assist, but I got the chaos. Like, like this, like this is not worth it for you <laughs> at all. First of all, you flash. Dude, look, like looking at myself is just like hilarious. <laughs> like, there's like something different about playing the game than watching yourself play the game. You're like, oh god, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> Yeah, you flashing, first of all, that burns your flash, which now it reduces a lot of your options. It's, that guy's already guaranteed, like, 99% dead. He has no flash, so it's like 99.99% dead. 
and then I probably tilted the fuck out of my fizz. Yeah, like that, like, that had like no real benefits <laughs> yeah. to War 2. This guy, noticing he's almost dead, you should be going for his blue buff. Just go for this guy's blue buff, they can't contest it. Go for his, just go for his, okay, you can do this and just awkwardly walk up to them and nothing happens. Yeah, okay, nothing's gonna happen. You can do your red buff, okay. So, the reason why I said you could do his blue buff, he gets half HP, their mid laner is dead, their bot lane has very little follow up because this girl's oom. Really, they have Zaya, which would be technically bad. You don't have Flash, which is most of the reason why it's, you can debate it, the reasoning behind going for his blue. But you can take this guy's blue in about 5 seconds. If you have Smite up. Which you do. So all, Did all you your... already watch this entire game? No. Oh. This okay. is me just, uh, as the game progresses, like me just saying things. Like, I was opening, I watched like the first 6 minutes, I think. Like, right before this. But yeah, could have taken this guy's blue buff. Um, anyways, here you do your red buff, whatever. I think I go to, I think it is right after this. So, also, you should probably kite the raptures, especially since you have like really shitty AoE. Like your AoE is not amazing on Shivana, like it's your multi single target. Can, right? You can you kite can them. Kite their ring. Like you can make them like if you run them into a way, so let's just say Oh no, fine match. Run. I thought you could only kite melee camps. Um, it's it's more like delaying all the raptor. Like you instead of them autoing you, you get to force them to chase you. Custom. Um, oh, let's make a trade. Practice. Tool. Cause you you've lost a lot of health in your jungle just from not hitting things properly. You pretty much just stand still and hit them. Venture jungle, let's just see this. Just do this if I'm not getting it. Lock in. Anyways, as that load as I loaded, I'm just gonna do this. Yes, my computer can handle all of this. Here, wait, wait, why are you going bot lane? Going bot, hold on. Actually, you're six now. I'm wrong. Here. Okay, your blue buff's coming up, though. That's why I debate it. Yeah, they're running away. It's warded. Just, just back off. Just back off. Just don't stand. That's warded. Them pathing like this means it's warded. You should instantly back away. Your blue buff's about to spawn right around now. Yeah, that slip call came up. Back up. Or move fog of war. It just came up. This guy's being slow when he's almost done, he's being stupid, whatever. Dude, I accidentally opened my... I, I wanted to open my browser up and look to see what runes I was running, but it's just lagging me like motherfuckers. My computer is... Here. Oh, actually I'm in game now. Give me level 3. And do myself. Add this. Let's just do this. This. Well, I just put my boots here. <laughs> so. First of all, doing raptors in the first place is already really brutal. But you want to kite them in a sense where hit them all, run down, run down. The yeah, other chasing you a lot of the time. Yeah. Here, just run out. See how much health I've lost? Almost. Well, I, I, I used a pot though. I did use a pot, but I stayed 100% full HP. Compared to, uh, let me let me do what you're doing. Um, my name is a pot. This is what you're doing. Holy shit. This is what you're doing, right? See how much health the difference is? Wow. That's insane. And if you do that every single camp, picture how much healthier you'll be. 
Wow. But every that's camp, actually, that's actually, honestly, that's mind blowing. That's, a, that's basic because you're doing it as worse as possible. I was doing it not perfectly, but are accept at an accept, acceptable rate, right? Like you saw, like straight up side by side, what that was, right? Yeah. Like I had a hundred health difference. I'm I have to, I have to practice that later. Depending on how you could actually create it the wrong way, I should create it top first, then into the bush. That way, I can pass right into my wolves. I messed up though. Because you saw me like when I did it like here, whatever, right? Yeah. So it's literally wow. it's the same exact time of like clearing shit. It's just more HP. You can do that with every camp, by the way. Maybe not Gromp because fucking Gromp is ranged and it's only one thing. But does yeah. Gromp have like a um like a bigger range than um? um... I think it has more than the Raptor. It's just honestly, it's also just one camp. It's you can can't, wait. Can you can you kite this one too? You can kite all of them. It's just like probably the least noticeable one is that something like Gromp. I think I think it's the least noticeable. Uh, so, so here I go top to yeah. get that free, which is what I should have been doing earlier in mid lane. Yeah. Go back a few seconds. Cause I haven't been watching. So here you heard um. Wait, did you do Krugs? What? Why did you? you what? Why did you do Krugs? Wait. wait uh, I, do I, I I haven't been watching. I I, I just saw you do red buff. <laughs> Because this is. Oh, yeah, I guess problem. I did do Krugs. <laughs> so, how, how, how much do you. Know, how good are you at math? Uh, I, I fucking suck at math. Okay, well, I'm going to teach you some, some basic geometry. The shortest path between two points, let's call it your Gromp and your Red Buff, is a straight line. So, doing things like Red Buff Raptors, cool. But then going to your Krugs is five second walk plus taking Krugs. That's, that's another five seconds. It's actually more than five seconds. It's like fifteen total. Plus walking back to your wolves is another fifteen seconds. So it's thirty seconds extra compared to red buff raptors wolves. Sure, you got a full clear this way, which is what you're doing, right? It takes an extra thirty yeah. seconds just because of the way you path. Honestly, if you did krugs first, that'd be perfectly fine. Krugs first into red buff into everything. But walking red raptors krugs and doing all this throughout like everything and all your clears. Cause... So it's basically dumb doing Krugs because they're so out of the way when like the rest of my bottom side jungle doesn't exist. No, it's because you're making triangles. You're going middle camp, side side. Because what you're doing, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. You're doing a yeah. middle camp, and you're going side camp, and then you go all the way back into another camp. See how weird this sort of yeah, yeah. shape is compared to doing something like. I'm not good at math, but I realize that's a bigger line. <laughs> yeah. And then it's just like, dude. And then it's like, dude. That, they, they, they all look like long lines, but compared to, dude. Into that. Into that. Just That is, well, for when you're doing it, it's just longer. Because you're going over the same what path. Should I be doing drugs? Um, you can do it. It's just when you're doing it, usually it's in for like a whole straight line. You can do Krugs into Red Buff into Raptors, or Krugs Raptors into Wolves or something. Pretty but much. here it's not really worth it because the only thing I'm like achieving by being on that side of the map is just Krugs. Yeah, because there's nothing else for you to do, and it takes you 30 seconds or 15 seconds to walk here. It takes you 15 seconds. So it would have been better if I just like went straight topside. Yeah. And then like, like, Wolves. Is it better to do Grom first and then Blue, or It doesn't wolves, matter. Just, blue, do, just do it in a straight line. Just do it in a straight line. Okay. Just do wow. it. Okay. Because that's really simple, right? Just like the shortest path, shortest path, then shortest path, then shortest path. That's the furthest away from your red buff. You're probably gonna do that one last. Yeah, I think I think my thought process was here was like most gold. I'm a farm builder, so I want to make sure like all my shit is like perpetually cleared. The reason, because doing this is all super sloppy and just here go mid, go mid lane, go mid lane, go mid lane. Yeah. Good. Eh. Eh. I'd be greedy and push another wave out, but whatever. Mostly because... And I should be cutting those wolves. Yeah, all, all your camps should be cutting. Here, you do this, whatever. Okay, you can delay your blue buff in cases like this, because this is literally... Let's count how much gold is. Let's say you, did, let's say you started pathing top. Your cat just died. She has no TP because she ran bare your fucking flash. Because, you know, the type of games. Just run straight top. Fuck your blue buff. That's 100 gold for blue buff. Let's count how many creeps so... are up here. So I should have gone top, Gromp, blue. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. This year, let's say you got that was one melee, second melee, third melee, cannon. 
and then my fucking team's ping the shit out of me for some reason. <laughs> well, that was what four melees, a cannon, and a caster. Four melees, four times what twenty, eighty, eighty plus cannon, forty, one twenty. One. The math doesn't even matter because those minions are gonna be gone, but my blue buff is still gonna be there. Yeah, like it's, so, just it's a hundred and forty gold missed out on. Just half a kill. And then I also wasted some of the the blue duration on the yeah. blue buff. Not a big deal on Shivana. Shivana doesn't really use blue buff that much, but yeah. Because Shivana blue buff, what's it honestly give you 10% CTR? You don't make use of the regen, you don't make use of the AP. Like, I'm, like yeah, you make me wasting it, but on other champions, it's a bigger deal. Dude, it's so crazy watching. Stay top, stay this top. Is the first time I've watched free play. Stay, stay top lane. Your cat's bot lane, stay top lane. Don't want to lose tower damage, and it's free experience and gold. If this guy's stupid enough staying with that much mana, he just one trade on you, you kill him. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you do? <laughs> okay, fine, do, do this, which gives you nothing. And you, now you go here. Okay, cool, he walks away from you, whatever. Farm. Last it, cool. Nothing wrong with it. I saw a cat going bot, so that's why I went top. I've done it earlier, but yeah, anyways, here. Farm. Last it. I don't know why my Katarina is bot lane, but that's beside the point. It's more about my own play. Jax is also bot lane. You want wait wait hold on I'm stupid. So Jax is bot lane. You see this? You whenever you see the jungler, just click on them. See what buffs they have. Cause you you don't know what he's taken if unless you keep track of him. He has no buffs. Um, pretty sure he died with blue buff though. He didn't have blue buff. Blue buffs gone because I know because of the replay, but his red buff should still be up. Mostly because I haven't seen him go topside since. After that camping Katarina, which it is up. So, like, potentially what I should have done if my top laner wasn't... Wait, where the fuck is she going? I don't know, she's over here. Whatever. But if she was if she was towards, like, the top side of the map, um, I should have just, like, gone straight to his red. You can honestly just... This guy has no mana. Yeah. You can do that anyways, because he has no mana. This guy, this guy can, at most, press two spells. He has no ulti, because it just died if you were actually watching. Um... 15, 20 seconds ago, it died to the tower. Before you, as you're doing your blue buff, it died. As you start your blue buff, I believe. It died. This is also, do you watch your lanes while you're jungling, or do you just kind of slash alt tab and stuff? Because you said you were doing Reddit last time. All right, and this is only at the start of the game. <laughs> uh, normally, I like I don't. Uh, something you pointed out earlier that I'm going to try to start incorporating is like normally what I just do is I look at the mini map and I see. Like where they're positioned. So like right now, I'm seeing like okay, my bot lane is really pushed up, mm. but I'm not looking at their health and I'm not looking at the enemy laner's health, which I feel like I should be doing. Yeah. So here's like, yeah, yeah, that is right. You should be doing because if you see this guy up here, just be like, okay, he has no ulti. Then keep track of. Wait, him. is that? Oh, I actually don't know how the champion works. Oh, okay, Yorick. That's his ultimate. This little fucking ghoul shit. If whatever that thing's up, don't fight him. It's almost Wait, impossible to kill him. Another champion. Why did he use it there then? Oh, he killed Katarina with it. Katarina. Oh, uh, okay. So it was. It was just to kill Katarina. Like that. That shit pretty much gives him health, gives him damage, gives him every possible start in the game. Oh look, it's dancing. <laughs> That's draining <laughs> HP. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know how to control it. He's literally letting it down a tower. A thing is like. <laughs> <laughs> he, he could, uh, an actual Weorwick can literally Is it, is it like uh, Tibbers? Pretty much, yeah. But it's a lot stronger. Way stronger. Anyways. So what here the you stay fuck top am I doing here? here. Right, take top. So fuck your Grom. Who gives a shit about your Grom? Um, just keep, if you pressure this guy and keep him here, he stays there, whatever. But you can shove the wave on him because he only has a hundred and something mana, which is what? He has really low mana cost, actually. Okay. His Q costs 25 mana, apparently. But you can pressure him because of how low his mana is. So just... basically, I'm stronger than him at this current moment. So I'd be, I should like try to push the this... advantage. Yeah, and him and Jack showing up pretty much tells you that. Oh, if I shove, if you were already shoving this in, if you didn't do your grump and your yeah, because I have nothing to worry about here. Jack's just showed bot lane. Well, he just shows up. So I think I now, just, yeah. like get in this fucking kid's face. You can possibly kill him, but he's getting really healthy, so it's like and maybe not always worth your time. But you can do this guy's red buff. This guy's Krugs. This guy's because Jin by himself, you'll laugh at him. Because he's 1 and 3, he's fucking useless as shit. This top laner, what's he gonna do with 150 mana? Literally, he's gonna, at worst. So I should just like all end him right here, right? 
Uh, no, he's gonna walk away from you. He would he would just walk away from you. Like right now, looking. Uh, my he, flash he, is on that right. Yeah, because you flashed. I uh, remember over here for the chaos. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he he would just walk away from you, but just take his guy's note. Take all of his jungle for being bought in for that long. Wait, what, what do you end up doing? What, what, what do you... And it's sloppy. It's because you don't know if it's worth it. You I should have just walked into his jungle and then maybe done it after. You when you're doing these neutral objects, it's good that you do them. But you're doing them wildly without any any regards to the enemy. You're just kind of like they're over there. But this takes you thirty seconds. This takes you thirty seconds to like a minute or something. To kill so them. what I should have done is I should have walked into his jungle because I knew he was bot lane, yeah. and I could look at his buffs and I knew he didn't take his red. Because this. So what I should have done? I should have done like his red, then wraiths. I feel like. I, what what should I have done ideally? Ideally, let's say you didn't do your Gromp, let's say you didn't do the Skull Crab, let's say you're actually top lane for the past minute and a half instead of only half of that time. Which is what you do, right? Till like Gromp, whatever. So if you were here the entire time, hold on, even before, it, it actually, as you do blue buff, you should be, instead of doing blue buff, just walk top lane. So like right here, okay, I see Jack's bot lane, but I see top pushing in, so I hold top yeah, and hold try top. to push that out, and then I should just walk in this fucking jungle. Pretty much. If, if this guy stays bot lane, you get to walk into his jungle, which he does stay bot lane. You actually keep track of him. Like, he's he's here for, like, I don't even know how long. Okay, then he's back here. Like he's, I'm fast-forwarding. I'm not sure if you keep track of it, but this is him. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm okay. cool. Now, he's... So I should have done, like, red wraiths, and then I don't know if Krogs would be worth it, because, like you said earlier, it's, like, kind of out of the way. So probably, like, line, red can... wraiths, then... this guy took so long, you could just do a straight line. You're really greedy, but you could just do like yeah, the red and like wraiths or whatever. But let's say let's say you did red into wraiths, you can just gank mid after that. You could shove this in like because this guy has no wave clear. His wave clear is really shitty. It's like super slow if you know the champion. Like he isn't gonna go from over here after you shove it in to over here in five seconds. He's not playing Anivia, so like it takes him <laughs> thirty seconds to a minute just to shove that back. So basically, I know he's going to be tied up, so it gives yeah. me opportunities. Yeah. Okay. And then if you do that, you can pretty much... You could have... I mean, he still dies because Jin's playing Jin mid against Fizz. Because, you know, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm a beast. I'm, I'm, I know what I'm doing. Now you're fucking trash. Whatever. So, here, yeah, you can hit him, but... So if you... If, at this specific moment in time, if you compared my effectiveness to the, the Jaxes, my, my interpretation was, like, I'm doing a really good job. Like... I'm out farming the fuck out of him. Why are all my lanes keep dying for like no fucking reason? You've done nothing to your lanes. You've literally all you've done, like if I'm like being critical, Jax, although his his decision making is atrocious and horrible, he gets <laughs> away with it because you don't punish him for it. Because you let him gank lanes. You let him show up places where he should not should not be allowed to. You let him walk I up. I mean to the only thing that in my head is just like farm, farm, farm. Okay, so farm his jungle, because this guy's been bot lane for the past two minutes. Like, he, he got away with pressuring bot lane because you didn't punish him topside. You didn't punish him yeah, by doing, I like, anything on this side of the map. You were just standing here farming it slowly. Which is, that's cool, but he's over here killing someone. You're over there just farming a minion. Yeah. Which, that's why, like, he gets the pressure. Yeah, you have double SDS. Oh god, this is actually really bad. I remember what happens next. I don't even use the fucking referral. It fucking times out on me. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, here, doing this is really risky because you don't have any vision of anything. You you can get away with it. Like, same thing with Jax getting away with a lot of options and stuff, right? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's fucking useless. I let this shit time out anyway. <laughs> okay. Let time out to you. So here, uh, you also have to, like, just picture Jack showing up. Picture if anyone shows up. It'd be a waste of one minute and a half, right? Because you don't ward or set up for anything, right? Yeah. If any yeah. champion just shows up here, you're forced to run oh, away. God. Because they... I guess, I guess a better decision would be, like, clear out his fucking jungle, yeah. do wolves into my wraiths, and then sneak the infernal, potentially. Uh, Potentially, yeah. I, after, like, you can debate a mid lane gank all the time because this guy's fucking stupid as shit and always pushes up, even though he's playing Jin Fizz matchup. Like, if you notice... I don't know if I get this, Drake. I don't know, but if you actually just want to mention mid lane... Because he's pushed up the entire laning phase. 
I'll just fast forward at times eight speed. See how often he's on his side of the map. He's back yeah. in lane in three seconds. Three, two, one. Jin's back. Oh, oh, is he actually going to show up? No, no, he's staying here. He's in the middle of the lane right now. He's never at his tower, which he should be because he's playing this matchup. He dies. Yes. For ten minutes, he's never been at his tower. He TP's back. He's at his tower for one second. Oh, he's back in mid lane. He's like, I'm scared to gank on this champion without red buff because I feel like I have no CC until I hit 6. You can literally almost one-shot someone on Shivana at level 6. Assuming you have actual items. Like, once you, like, your full rotation of spells does half of someone's health. And then you chase them down and you do the other half with the, um, all your mastery thingy, I forgot the name of it. Pressing attack. If you, you aren't comfortable in the champion, you don't know their damage, like, if you alt over the wall onto a Jin. Press all your buttons, he's half HP. And then he can't fight you because melee champions beat ranged champions at melee range. He dies. He has no flash because he's stupid. He would die. You can you can chase him down because... Wait, I didn't realize he didn't even have flash. Oh, yeah, I forgot. To Holy shit, I need to, lo I need to look at that when I... Holy fuck. Dude, that, that was like free as fuck just to walk in mid lane all game. Yeah, pretty much. He has no flash, fuck. he has no cleanse. In this matchup, he should probably be running fucking flash ghost or something or like... Not flash goes flash exhaust or something because you shouldn't even be playing this matchup, but whatever. It was just because you can snowball mid lane into a mid lane tower, into a rift herald, into a top lane tower with rift herald, into a bot lane push. I say bot lane. I should, last. Just, I should just I should just like set up a tent in fucking mid lane without a flash. Like I could just I could have potentially just camped let's, the fuck out of him. But let's say you did the red, the red buff thing we were talking about earlier. Into his rappers, into a mid lane gank, into a mid tower or a rift herald. That would you either get at worst case half this tower, best case this tower and Rift Herald. And after that you can use Rift Herald top lane and those and two laning phases. Meanwhile, they pretty much are stuck chilling trying to hit these towers or doing whatever the heck lower rank people do after towers are gone. And then mm -hmm. you can end up finally grouping bot lanes since they're the strongest lane. And then finish that out. So you want to play on your strong lanes first, which would be your mid lane. Top lane, it's it's losing, but at the same time it's like Yorick isn't gonna do shit, especially with the way he's building. He's fucking building Catalyst or whatever the, f whatever the heck those items are, Ruby Crystal and Sapphire Crystal. Anyways, mm, I, I don't know what the fuck he's trying to. Catalyst is the only thing that that shit built into. Uh yeah, or oh, I think he's doing Trinity. Oh okay, I guess yeah, I guess he decided to build that instead of a long. Okay, whatever. Yeah, you're right. No one builds fucking ruby and sapphire though they build long. <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, he was going triforce. Yeah, I'm wrong. But anyways, uh, your mid your mid laner somehow died to Jin. Whoa, but don't you will die if you do this right now. If you jump over this wall, you're dead. At least you should die. Like ninety percent chance you're dead if you jump over the. Okay. What do you? What do you? Oh, oh, oh. What do you? What do you? What do you? You, you, you need to shrink it right because you never used shrink it this game yet. Oh, actually, I lied. You can't. I think I die right. here. You never felt so you can't. Alive. What do you? Okay, this is why control wards are super valuable. If you bought a control ward at any point in this game, you could actually be playing this right now. So I'm gonna change the vision. I'm gonna toggle the vision, and say what what type of vision you could be having. This is obviously super ideal if you could actually see all of this. So like I saw I saw them in the tri bush. So, and then I backed up because I was trying to get my bot lane to come up and help me. And that's why I was waiting there, because I thought Saver would walk up, and we could, like, easily kill him. Yeah. But... You can easily kill him, actually. This is actually a really good 2v2, if you can get on Jin. You don't get on Jin. You end up fighting Jax. I should have just, like, fucking ultied right onto yeah, the Jin. Yeah, if you ulti right onto Jax, this becomes a 2v1, and you guys win. So first of all, this Jax is already on your Saver. Which okay, means... so right here, I should have already ultied into the Jin. Yes, you can. I should be on him right now. Yes, as soon as this, these stuns go off, you can cancel your CC because when you're all you're immune to CC, which means the stun won't even stun you. His W will be on cooldown. You can fucking ignore the slow from this shit because you end up at, like right at the edge of it, and then just chase him down and we kill can him. Just fucking run him down. Yeah, challenging smite into your E, which slows their bot lanes all the way over fucking Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> so you legit just kill the Jin. Zipper will live for one second at minimum, right? Like you won't instantly die. While that's happening, and then you just kill the Jax. God, I played this so badly. Instead, I'm assuming the worst case scenario happens, you fight the Jax, you, he stuns both of you, Jin gets to do free DPS the entire team fight. Is this how it plays out? Yeah. Probably. 
Yeah, Jin's literally not being touched. You're completely free DPS, you focus Jax. He didn't stun both of you, though. So, Silver had not stop living. But now they get to rape. So, if they're good, you get you just lost everything on the bot side. Jungle. Um, because they should not be winning that fight. They legit, like, this Jin should have just instantly died until, like, everything would be fine. Yeah, I should have hopped on immediately. When did you fly? When the hell did you fly? You fly. What? Yeah, don't don't do that flash. <laughs> I didn't even notice that, but yeah, when you're it already so when you're already when you're already dead, it was, it was don't such burn a flash. fucking useless flash. You didn't even see me cast it. Yeah, I was I was just like, oh, 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 whatever, fast forward. <laughs> Fuck. So yeah. Anyways, now if they were good, you would lose Krugs, you would lose Red Buff, you would lose Raptor. So I'm assuming. Should, I'm assuming. Go oh, here I'll check. I'm assuming they only take your Red Buff and then do Dragon. I'm assuming they only do one thing against the dragon. Yeah, they don't know how to press their lead. Blah 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 blah. blah then it's the okay. You can't really contest that because you died. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, here you can go. Whatever. Let's see what you do. So here, what do you top side? Top side. You can actually you can take this guy. Is this shit? Is this guy's top side still up? I swear to God, it's still up. It's it's been up for like <laughs> seven minutes. Oh, holy shit! I don't remember. I don't know, but I, you, you could you could because this guy's been bottling for the whole I think fucking. I actually do take it. Okay, cool. Hey, rappers. Hey, there cool. we go. There we go. Okay, when you're taking this camp, why did I ulti? What the fuck? Yeah, I just took that in. Fuck... Yeah, I just took in you ult. Oh, I, don't... <laughs> I don't pay attention to these things because I don't think of them because that things happen. Okay. Wait, anyway. why the? Wait, can you back it up a second? Why the fuck did I ult? You probably ulted over the red buff wall or something. I'm assuming. Wait, I already ulted. Uh... I'm assuming you ulted over red buff wall. Yeah, you do. Okay. Oh, see, wow, I'm really fucking. Okay, I remember my thought process here. And it's goddamn fucking retarded. If Jax like, is okay, there, I'm gonna fight him. Up, he's probably he's probably topside on his red. Even though he's right, fucking right. looked at my mini map. <laughs> so let's say you still had ulti. This would be your free mid tower. If you still had ulti, all you'd have to do it hurts. It, it hurts to watch myself. Like it actually hurts. Oh uh, yikes! So let's, let's let's assume that you still had your ulti because that I don't know, that was whatever. This guy would just die. Fucking walk down mid and just fuck up the jinx with no flash. Jin, yes. Or the jinx. the jin. <laughs> and then you then you cast your rift herald to get free mid tower. Oh my god. Instead, they just got bot tower and whatever the heck. So, when doing krugs, do you know how one thing to keep track of? I guess from the enemy side. Uh, what do you mean? I'm gonna hover my mouse over it or the screen over it. I mean, like when I do krugs, the only thing I'm really watching is to see where their top laner is. Okay. When you're doing Krugs, one really, really big thing is to notice where minions are. So, this is your vision, right? You see how you see over here? Oh, so the minions coming into lane will give them vision of me. Correct. So, how do I know where so minions So, what I should do is I should, I should kite them to the left and, like, towards the bush. You can do that. So, or... I don't get revealed. Yeah, I was going to say a, a more advanced thing. Um, which, yeah, you can get them to the bush, which is one thing. But if you already... Let's say you started and you walked here... Right, and they were already there. Mm -hmm. You'd still get spotted. The the more advanced thing that always works is look at where your minions are. They're nowhere here. They're actually at inhib, and they're at outer tower. You're fine. That's what their minions are too. They're at over here, same as yours. Right, at the inhib, at the inhib. So basically, I don't even need to worry about it because I could look at where my minions are, and then I know where their minions are, so I don't have to worry about their minions giving vision to me. I'm assuming you don't keep track of that, but that's one way to just always keep track. Whenever you do Krugs, that's really important, because if they actually see you through their minions, they can collapse on you. Anyways. Um, oops, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Well, I'll fast forward. And Jax is already 5-0. and Because <laughs> yeah, this guy's top side has been yep. up for 7 minutes, and you've only done it now. Which He's been bottling for like 5 minutes. Ridiculous. So this guy's free kill if you had ulti, but you know, if for some reason you ulted over red buff. Because you could just challenging smite him into fucking chasing him, and he would die. You wait, what do you, what do you just Rift Herald this? Just do something on the. Why, why is. Here's about your blue buff. Just, I think just I gank this hate. guy. Just gank the. Kill it. Why is he allowed to be stuck? Okay, you're letting this guy lane with literally. You're letting this laner lane with literally nothing. He's, he's, he's already dead in my head. I mean, looking at it now, he has no mana. What the fuck is he gonna do? Like, you're literally. You're just letting him lane with. He should be dead. Jax, I'm literally brain dead farming. Like I'm a fucking monkey. <laughs> like yes, farming is super important. It's super awesome, right? Like 
But when you see something this free, like a top laner with zero, it's three mana, zero mana, right? Um, so what I was thinking in this instance was, wow, my Katarina is really low. I don't want to gank that lane because I think my Katarina is going to suicide Shampo into yeah, she, the. She might, and then you laugh at her and kill her because, I mean, kill Jorik because he has nothing to do. And then you referral top lane and you get tower. Well, so far, there's been like towers you can take. There's things you can take on the jungler a lot sooner. Things you can yeah, buy. Would, you can buy control wards because you've bought zero. Um, you can use your Rift Herald at some point before it expires, which is like in 30 seconds or something. And going bot lane right now is really, really, really bad. You do not so, want to be see, here. So right there, if you back it up, I tried to use it before it timed out, but I hit the wrong fucking key bind. So. So I'm like, oh shit, it's about to time out. I swear our screen goes purple like 30 <laughs> seconds ahead of time and shit. What? It tells you it's going to expire. It like gives you... Don't, don't... Whatever you're doing right now, I don't know what you're trying to do. Uh, I was trying to establish deep vision. Okay. Deep vision is good when you're ahead. If your team is behind, you can't do this. Because they can just be like, oh cool, let me just 3-man you because why not? And what the fuck? Why, why the fuck was I even warding? Like, I know where the fuck Jax is. The, the, the <laughs> like, probably... oh, is he, is he gonna come and kill me while I'm on his fucking gromp? No, he's fucking top lane, you dumb fucking Siobhan and Dragon, bitch. Like, like while you're there, that Yikes. was okay, but like, just this, what, <laughs> the, this thought process over here of, oh, sh I think I die here. Yeah, you should. You really, you should have died 30 seconds ago. Wait, do I die here? You should, but they're probably not going to know how to stun you. And then, yeah, she, she, she knows how to ult, right? She doesn't know how to ult. Oh, she already ulted for you, I lied. How to ult, okay, actually. Wait, do I hit? Oh, I think, wait, do I think, do I die? Okay, so people don't know how to team fight. I forget this, but you should have all been dead. I, I <laughs> and these guys at AFK, actually, they can, they can push bot lane. They can keep pushing this. They can keep pushing this. What's happening there? Yeah, you kind of ignore that because you can't. You can run up there, stop them from, like, getting another tower. You, you stop them from another tower? Don't, don't overcommit. Okay, yeah, check. Are you, you going to overcommit? Okay, actually, they have no mana, but still. Okay, sure. Whoa, whoa, she got it. Okay, cool. Turns up since, yeah, you need to buy control wards. Every single back. Just buy two control wards. Like, have two control wards always in your inventory. As jungler, you pretty much need that. Maybe not your first back, because you might have the six. The thing I don't like about the control wards is, like, why do I buy two when I place the second one, the first one disappears? Okay, so you place one down, let's say, I don't know, Dragon Pit. Um, There's no wards there. It's been there for 30 seconds or whatever, or even if it's just instantly placed. You can change its position. If it, if it already killed all the wards there, since you don't have a scanner, because you don't buy scanners. Um, You could buy scanners, like obviously, but you don't. But have in this game you usually by the way you buy scanners when you're ahead in games a lot more you can buy it still now but it's better when you're ahead anyway so let's say back to the control word question let's say there's one on the dragon pit it's been there for a while let's say the dragon's down everything's like it's been there for a while just change its position like it's doing nothing there don't keep it there for 20 minutes don't there's people who go oh i ordered this bush over here it's been there for 20 congratulations it's done nothing for you it's been there for 20 minutes so it's holy shit Oh my god. Mind blown again. So it's not about wasting control word, it's about what you get out of placing it. Yeah, like if it, like some people will be like, yo, maybe I haven't killed my control word in twenty minutes. But it's done nothing for twenty minutes then because they haven't like they haven't walked by there or like they haven't seen it or something. Because if you have a, like let's say you have a control word inside your base, oh they haven't killed it for the entire game. Same logic applies. What an effective placement of word control. <laughs> right? Like, that's where the, their logic is. It's been there for 20 minutes. It's been, it's been on 20 minutes on their side. It's like, okay, cool. You can place it fucking, let's say, I don't know. It's like the worst spot to place a word on their side. You can place on, I don't know, fucking, what's the worst spot? I don't think of like the worst possible spot. Uh, right behind the wolf camp. The wall behind the wolf camp. Eh, sure. Actually, uh yeah. And uh, uh, no, like behind that, behind that, like even further back. Let's just I, I, I just fucking paint their Krugs. Let's, no, actually, here here are probably the worst spot, just because they can do Krugs or Red Buff a lot of the path through. I guess they can blast cone, but uh, actually, that was yeah. actually pretty bad. Holy shit! <laughs> Let's just say you put a control word here and it lasts twenty minutes. Cool. The people don't path through here unless they blast cone, right? Because who would who yeah. would gank top lane through? You're probably going to be doing Krugs. You could do Red Buff and gank top lane through here, but. Most likely it's Krugs top or like red buff Krugs or like Raptures or something anyways. 
That's the point. That's why I have control words by them. Don't think about like as a waste. It's just literally it can give you so much vision. For example, in the case where over here where the djinn was chasing you, what was that? What's this one? It was it was near a dragon fight actually. So it was somewhere over here. I think it's when I died in uh, the both the bush uh, south of red, and then they blast going over into a infernal. Oh, this is this is the head. Wait, Whoops. No. No. This is, oh, I skipped ahead. Whoops. Yeah, it's here. Spoiler. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, yeah, this is where I get fucked because I didn't only go in the jungle. Let's say you had a control ward right in this spot, right? Why would I control ward my own jungle? Just because it gives you line of sight. If you if you know Jin's in here, you can ult him instantly. If he if Jin's actually playing smart and stands over here. I actually, I already know he's there. I'm just like a fucking brain dead monkey. Like I should, like. No, but I'm saying you like, can't directly right here, hit right him. Here. What I should have done is I should have been at the tip of the bush, and I should have ulted into the red bush. Good. But I'm saying line of sight. I'm saying line of sight because. Yeah, yeah, dude. I played WoW. I know what line of sight is. I don't play WoW. <laughs> yeah, because you can't hit him if you can't see him. Even if you alt on him, like if you were alt, let's say right at the edge of the bush, you can't touch him. I should. I don't want to watch this again. I know it. I should have just fucking ulted his ass right there. Back to, seven, back to 17, 18 minutes. So you can see so far in the past like 20 minutes, just, there's a lot of options. Honestly, Wait, did I already get the Infernal? Uh, no, this, this one, no. This is after they got the Infernal. That cat kills top lane because they're pushing top lane. I was like, don't worry about like, they just got the tower from here. Mm -hmm. And you just path up top lane against them. Yes, this guy overstays. Stupid. Kills him. Okay, so Baron buff is spawning in, not Baron buff, Baron is spawning in two minutes. You want to set this up, you want to ward this, you want to control this. Why you Where do would that? I ward to set up vision for Baron buff? Um, if you have a sleeper, which should be not ideal because you're losing, but if you have a sleeper, sweep the entire river, and you put the control ward right inside the pit. So, all right, well, it's not go, but... yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. Heck, I can't minimize it. Ward right inside the pit, like because that gives vision of the entire pit and the surrounding, like, little area. Which then means if they have any wards there inside the pit or just outside the pit, and you sweeped already the entire river, they now have no vision of you guys doing Baron, which makes it really hard to win a fight or put vision down on their side. And then you can, if you have actually, let's say you don't have Sweeper, say instead you just have your Trinket, but where the Baron Pit, and if you see that it's safe to walk here, you can like inch your wards forward. You can like put one here, like one at Tribush. If you have, if it's safer, you can put it even deeper, like at the Red Buff and at Raptors. Because they, I mean, they technically could path differently, but like they could somehow, for some reason, loop all the way around for the Baron. But generally, people speaking, they'll come from mid lane and like go to Baron. Yeah. Good starter and just makes no sense to go all the way around. So, like, my thought process is here is like, wow, I'm like double this Jack's CS. What the fuck is my team doing? But looking at the replay, I'm like, wow, I didn't really do anything the entire game. <laughs> well, it's like, so far, you've pretty much done negligible amounts. Like, Jax has, Jax has done stuff. It's really wrong and bad, but he gets away but with he it. Fuck the shit out of my team. Yeah. It's like you're like sh like straight up experience wise, you're ahead of him. Item wise, I'm pretty sure he's. Wait, do I fuck him here? He can he can actually punish you for. This. You should not be fighting him. You should be running. Why? Like, you should, you should, no, you, you can you can hit him. Yes, but the way you're standing because of like his entire oh, yeah. team being right over here. And you should be running away, not like trying to kill him. Because this guy, this guy, what this guy did was right click the mid lane. And his, his screen Wait. is his screen is like <laughs> this right now. This is, this is his <laughs> like, screen right now. You finish the the fucking raptors. Yeah, like this, 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 is, this is his screen right now. His screen is um. His, his, let's go from this side. Let's go from this side. His side is um. Let me, let me right click over here. This, this is what his this is what his CC right now. He's like he's like right click 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 right click. Oh shit! Red flash. Oh shit! We're gonna hit it. Hold on, hold on. She's behind me. Where did she show up from? Like, when oh, like when you, when the screen flashes red, he's like, oh wait, what the fuck? I don't even notice that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so here. What do I do here? 
Well, okay, so here you can alt these guys into tower range, into Annie Sun, into Mega CC, into like ridiculous like follow up. All right, let's see how it plays out. So, all right, you should, you should, okay, so as this snare here, you actually just, a bit slow, sluggish, but here, why are you stunned though? Yes, then this Lux bind. So, as soon as this binding goes out, just, just alt to ignore the CC or dodge it. You can dodge it too, but you instead just kind of ignore it because you're probably looking Wait. at this. Play it slow mo. I think I'm like alting right as it hits me. No, you alt way after. Oh, okay. Wow. That wasn't even close. Yeah. Yikes. Never mind. It was obviously at quarter speed, so it's like elongated, but you can't alt while you're rooted. So you can alt. So like... I, should, I should have seen the projectile and just instantly ulted. Because now this is a lot sloppier. Because Annie has stun up, so I should have. Yeah. Now it's yeah. a lot sloppier, right? You see how like that one second delay. Well, snare is like one and a half yeah. seconds, but you see how the position goes from. Goes from this, yeah, they're stunned. I should've... But like, you're not your ulti also cancels the stun because you knock them up or down or whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, if I ulted before that stun hit me, we probably would have got a kill in the jacks. And he's super, and super fast. And then up the then Yori too. Oh, well, Sivir, whatever the fuck, Sivir. Sivir was at top. Never mind. Yeah, like this guy, this guy would probably be dead because he built full fucking AD. Because he has TMA, he has no flash, which he didn't keep track of, but he just has no flash conveniently. He just burned everything to get on top of these guys to stun his jump and everything. So he has nothing left besides what his ulti, which he just cast. So like he has no getaway. So this guy. And I would have pushed him into turret range, and Andy could have W stunned, and he'd be fucking gone. Yeah. And then the rest you could probably you probably won't do anything to these guys because of like stuff, right? Just because of how far away they are and how tanky they are. But now notice that one second is like oh, now with the entire position has just changed and they got to walk away. Just because of the one second hesitation. Yeah. And now I'm on the defensive, so I'm like, all right, yeah. my team lost that fight, which was probably my fault that we lost that fight. Let me just do my wraiths into red buff Krugs and then go to the Wolves. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I honestly just... I think that's what I do. That's, I mean, that's what I'm thinking I would do. You can do this. Just just go. You can push. Run Botlin. Bot, run Botlin. Run Botlin right now. This is so free or pressuring. Worst case scenario, you die and your team actually hopefully pray to God you, that pushes mid lane. Because if you run down here, they're forced to either run and follow you, enemy team wise, which is their best option, or they can push mid lane and you get the inhib. Worst so, like, okay, if, if you pause it right now. Uh, pause it where? Uh, right after I fucking didn't ulti the jacks. Oh, like, oh, like, oh, like all the way back there, okay. So, uh, my thought press is like right there. I, have to skip. I think I, was, I just like I'm like oh I need to farm my own jungle, but then the infernal came up. So I I think I should just like run straight to the infernal after that. No, because then I can test that and you die. You went right around here. And then or, like after this. I should vaulted. And then Drake's coming up. So, don't go for this Drake. Look at your team, right? Yeah, and they're all healthy, so yeah. Look at their team. You don't even know where the other people are, and let's turn off vision. I mean, technically this guy ends up going topside, but you don't know where Jen is, right? He could be literally anywhere. He should be running bot lane. Stupid as fuck, though. This is why I said, if you were over here right now, at worst... I feel you... like I would just get collapsed on. It, yeah, that's, a, that's your worst. If they actually do collapse on you, which is definitely an option, they will collapse. You hope that your team either pushes mid, or you get half of this tower, or you burn a shit ton of their time. Because you have enough movement speed to keep them running around the map while your team, hopefully, you know, half of this. Worst case, your team does so nothing. So basically, I pressure bot tower, and then my team could potentially do the infernal while they're all running to me to defend yeah. their base. You assume, you, you hope your team will do something if you spam ping, like, one of the objectives, right? Or you can play it super safe and super laid back and, like, go run down here and don't burn your W and then have your W up to, like, run through their base and, like, Fucking kill time. Because they're probably all going to 5 menu from the exact same path because it's low rank and they're just going to be like, I'm going to 5 menu all through this one line. And you're going to be like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Let me just run over here if you actually kind of <laughs> walk away. And then Jax will be fucking blind on the server and like not collapse on you. Then you'll have ulti back up by that time and then just laugh at them. Here you die the ones I think you die instead. And you almost die. Where are you? 
they're up here. Eh. So again, if but if they don't collapse on you, free tower, free inhib. Right? Worst case is you end up getting like your team has to you rely on your team for stuff. Or, like, so was that a bad call on my part by just like soloing the Drake? It's not bad, it's just this is much, much better. I feel like I'd let my team get fucked. Would it have been better if I had just like gone mid? Wait, like oh, like beforehand, like before the inferno or whatever, like right now? Yeah. Eh. Well, like wait, actually before the inferno soul. Don't even took So super, first of all you're super low after that fight, so you can't do anything. The inferno's not bad. Mostly because like, 'cause you're super low, you can't do anything, you have no ulti. Like this is okay, like this is okay. If I call I'm just thinking of bot tower most of the time. This is good. Would it have been better if I had just like recalled and gone top and defended the jacks? Oh, his minions are over here. You can't do this. His mini like the minions are all the way over here. So he can't even touch this tower, so don't worry about that for 30 seconds. That's why Jax is not a threat. Plus he's super low, like he can handle him or something or like whatever. So this is this is fine, this is good, just this is just much optimal because I could have I could have forced them there and then we could have gotten a tower plus the infernal. So when your team follows up, if their team doesn't follow up, then it's kind of awkward and sloppier. But you can make them run around for a really long time. If you see them instantly collapse, you can also just recall because it takes them more than eight seconds to get there, and you can recall eight seconds. Yeah. You can also just stay in this bush and keep pressuring them or running in and out. That's what an actual split pusher does. The actual split pusher would just stay in fog of war, bounce in and out, and they don't know if he's still there. Forces them to debate between taking tower, force sitting someone topside, and like resetting, regrouping, and like. I, I, I hope to God I don't do my Krogs right now. Yeah, you could just yeah kill a script. Okay, guys, Baron, free Baron. That just gave you a Baron because she decides to do that. You don't have any control wards, which really sucks. But why this is a Baron is because two of them are down. Jack's built fucking full AD, so he can't do shit in team fights. All, as long as he doesn't one shot your carries, not your carry, but one shot like somebody, he's useless. Which so right after. I kill I should Baron. You should pretty much path towards it. Pray that your support has a control ward if your support's dead. Pray that someone okay, no one on your team has a control. Which has five pots twenty minutes in. <laughs> okay. So also at this point you can sell your refillable potion and get a, a control ward. They're more valuable than that refillable at this point. After, <laughs> after like towers are gone and stuff, you can usually like get rid of them. Like after like your first item and a half, like two items. You're like, Wait, do I counter jungle here? Or do I don't, this don't don't be doing whatever the heck this is. This, if I should be with my team, right? If eh, not really, because you can't get this tower. You should be pressuring, stamping your team the fuck to just stand in a bush, honestly, and then death push them. Because team fight wise, your fizz could one shot somebody. Um, you can still win team fights. You don't want a team fight. You can just ward and like pick someone off because if you actually have vision, you can just pick up a free kill. Considering you have an assassin on your team, you both the fucking void staff. They all have less than seventy MR. Look at their MR. Thirty. Just curious how much. Forty. Thirty. One champion has hundred MR. Yeah, built. Fun fact. So, wait, I'm, I'm wait. Am I doing fucking scuttle right now? That's okay with a scuttle because you can't help these guys from being suicidal. No, they're being suicidal. They're being suicidal, just let them be This is actually okay because they're gonna do Baron right now and if you can maybe smite steal or something because they should do Baron. They have the option to do Baron. That guy should die. This guy should die. I don't know what the Lux is doing. Next. Just go top. Just go top. Don't worry about these unnecessary team fights. You kill them, eh, you can kill them, but you have no DPS for the Baron, so don't worry, just go top. Just go. Oh, right. Okay, cool, you do it. Oh, delicious farm. Love it. That's, that's basically a champion kill. This guy's suicidal, okay, just kill him. Cool. Zaya. She wants suicide. What's she doing? Did she, though she doesn't ult it yet, okay. She, she's, okay, one shot the lock. What the just, fuck am I doing? You're farming I over here. So here, just, <laughs> eh, I don't know how much damage, you don't, uh, you, can't, you can't actually one-shot. Okay, you can one-shot her now. Done. 
or just let them walk away. Okay. She was stunned. <laughs> so while she's stunned, you kill her. If she gets... Let's say you're actually watching this and not just over here. Right? You ult this, you kill her. I need to get better her. about unlock... I need to just unlock my camera. She's at 600 HP with, what, 100 armor? No, 63 armor. So let's see how much your ulti does. L2 does 200, E does 100, W does 100, let's say, Q does so 100. I, I could have just fucked her right there. So they just... all, let's say, 300, that's 500 damage. I'm rounding down with 500 damage, by the way. You do more than 500 damage. With Challenging Smite and your auto attack, that's literally a one shot. She stuns, she can't respond to it. She can't heal, she yeah, can't Yeah, so I should have just gone on her instantly. You're actually there and instantly kill her. Plus challenging smite like the 500 and I'm rounding down, right? Like if you actually yeah. do the actual damage, like it's more than 500 and plus challenging smite and an auto attack, it's she's dead. I'm rounding down because of armor, by the way, but it's still mm -hmm. I'm still rounding down even further. Because yeah, she, she died. And then after that, if these guys decide to be stupid and fucking stand still for half a second, she dies too. They can't contest yeah. you and they can't kill you because you have two thousand. And if I ult, if I altered towards like the north west right now, it would split them up and they'd probably back off. Yeah, they probably would back. They should back off. If they don't, they die because you can that was chase basically them. Basically, I just like let slide by. There's a lot of like uh, what's it called? Gold and opportunities where it's just like, eh, I'm over here. So <laughs> I'm just gonna farm. <laughs> on, you building? Okay, what are you building this into? I'm just curious. Uh, I ask you a question. Sterex? Yeah, Sterex? Don't build Sterex. No. You had This is... You could build this into... If you're building it into, what's it called? Frozen I actually Hunt. have no idea what the fuck I was building this into. Okay. So, Jarm's is Fist... That frozen Hunt? Pardon? Does that build into Mallet? Yes, it builds into Mallet. Maybe, I think I may have gone Mallet here. Okay, Mallet's fine. Yeah, never mind. That's fine then. If you're building it into a Titanic Hydra, which is better in this case, because you will just go Titanic Hydra, it gives you a lot more burst. You can go Frozen Mallet, which is fine. It sticks on top of your target. Thing is, you can literally one shot someone when you have Titanic Hydra. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say one shot. I don't have a video clip of me doing it. Fuck. Um, I'm trying to think. It's like the auto cancel, right? Yeah, you basically just insta proc your. Called what's your keystone called? You... Um, uh, press the attack. Yeah, press the attack. You literally alt on them. You auto and Q and then T a mat. It procs your auto Q will give you three stacks because your Q is a double auto, which will proc press in the attack and then your T a mat, which is like your fourth proc of damage, which is going to get amplified by twelve percent, and it's massive. You I think I suicide here. Like doing that full rotation of spell and combos actually does over a thousand damage in about half a second if you do it at the right time and it's like ridiculous you can do that on multiple people too so you can literally end up doing five thousand damage in a team fight just by ulting in i probably should have ulted into them instead of away from them yeah i just yeah like seeing this in slow motion it's really obvious seeing this in like live speed it's a lot more difficult to tell because i'm like get me out of here yeah. He's ulting. So here, I'm dead. So here, you're full HP. You don't know why. Yeah, why do you? Wait, why do you ult? So here, you get. Stunned. Uh, okay, I think actually, as soon as actually I get stunned, you get stunned. Actually, so wait. Positioning wise, you are standing uh, in no man's land. You know World War One. Yeah. Okay. You're standing in no man's land because. Okay. Two melee but assassin carries. Well, it's carry champions are not actual carry. Like this kind of, I guess, but like, whatever. Um. You standing, he just burned his E. You, what are you hoping for over here? I was trying to get like a little bit of poke damage because I thought we were initiating. They have three and then people. I saw them walking the opposite direction, so I thought my team wasn't going to back me up. So I, I ulted away, but uh, I guess she had a change of heart. And um, I should have just ulted in, like, let her make plays. Because, like, if I had, if I had ulted towards them, like, Cat would have gotten, like, a fucking, like, quad or a penta here. Well, the reason why... No, this small half-second or thing is... I they... mean, honestly, wait, this is, this is like, the same uh, happenstance that happened earlier, like, at the red buff. Like, I see okay. the bind coming in. I can ulti, 
to be like immune from CC. But would that push them too far away for Katarina to engage? Um, that's debatable. I was just referring to just not standing here right now because standing there right now is very questionable and makes you lose all your HP. You can yeah. you can debate that if she'd be in range or she wouldn't be in range, how much effort she'd have to put in because she could technically flash in and like do a, you can do a shit ton of hypotheticals for another champion. She like flash E in or she could like W movement speed E like a, well whatever fucking mobility champions. But I'm just mentioning the whole like standing right here at this yeah. very exact time. That's is, questionable. That's just you should not be doing that because for from your perspective and your side, this does almost nothing. Technically, yeah, if Cat does a bunch of shit after you alt right now, yeah. But that involves Cat doing a lot more work, right? So if you were, let's say, standing next to Fizz, which would mean you'd be full HP, right? So I'm like, and maybe I can fight this, and then, oh god, no. And then Cat goes in. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's say you didn't do that half HP thing, right? But you're yeah. being full HP with this Cat in here. That, that would have been, we would have mopped that shit up easy. Because this guy, this girl already dies from the champion that is. That's Lux. Instantly dies to Lux. I mean, yeah. Stun and ulti are down on Lux. So then, then you just jump on this guy. He, he pretty much instantly die. And you'd probably walk away from this because you'd probably get killed from this chick. And if she decides to be greedy, you kill her. Unless Cat could actually kill her by herself or something. They just burn heal. What the f Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways. Server dies whenever she's used. So, your impact in the game is, no matter how much gold you have... Wait, why haven't you back? I suppose you have like 4k in your inventory right now, what the heck? You have 3.4, <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen you back for like the past like 15 minutes. Like, I've seen you with Jarm's Fist and Double Ruby Crystal for so long, I'm like, why do you, do you still have this? Yeah, you probably want to back and, you know, finish your items and get control wards and board this Baron because you're sitting on 3k. You never want to sit over 2k gold. The most you want to sit on is 2k, like, and that's even, that's already bad. You want to sit on, like, this, if you're 80 carry, you guess BF for 1.3k, which is, like, the most expensive single item in the game. Like, 1. like, 3, I think, is, like, a complete item as well, like, everything is 1.3 below. Like, individual items that are completely built or something. I think I just die here. Unless you're building, like, death cap and you only have, like, amp tone. Not have the amp tone, and this is our draw. Which then makes it cost 2600 gold or something, 2650 or something. Anyways, are, are you dead right now? Oh, how did you die? Uh, I tried to like one of you on the jacks, I think, and jacks just like cucked the shit out of me. This guy, I, I yeah, you have him back. <laughs> 3.4k gold on me, that fucking shot. You're half HP, I'm like half health. Yeah, you have no ulti. So, wait, what? You're walking toward. You see, like, long... you see this guy walking towards. So you ignore him walking towards you. You go. I'm not gonna respect the Jax. Full HP Jax. One thousand HP Shivana. Then, <laughs> then you approach the challenger over here. Not challenger, like the, the opponent. And you're like, Ah, I'm a, I'm a little fucking school kid getting hit by a big. <laughs> By hitting, getting beat up by a kid that's three years younger than me, but he weighs like three thousand pounds more. <laughs> and, then, boop. and I'm fucked. Whatever. We finish. Yeah, get control words. Get control words. Get like at all points in the game have control words. You're getting brambles. Uh, wait, why do you have? Uh, I, built, yeah, it's I think I'm building into. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I think. Because, like, at this point in the game, I was like, hmm, I feel like I need armor because they have uh, Jin, Zaya, um, Jax. Mm. So I was thinking, like, hmm, like, normally I would build, like, Randuins here, but they don't, they're not really building crit. Yeah, so so uh, I felt like Thornmill was, like, a better item. Yeah, actually, yeah. I thought Randuin. Because Starma also gets fucking Cold Seal passive, which is busted. I don't know why Hella gave him Cold Cold Steel. Cold Steel passive, by the way, is reducing our attack speed. Really heavy on there. Go here, whatever. Why you get hit by Jin Trap? Sure, take a free 300 damage and then get binded, and now you're. 
dodge these things. Don't look to get hit. Why are you on this side of the map? Okay, I guess to farm this, but like. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna farm it, right? Okay. <coughs> get to this Baron. This Baron's. Oh, <laughs> this is scary. So, if you're doing your Krugs. Congrats. That's, that's 150 gold, 200 gold, whatever. I don't know how much gold it is. It's like 150. <laughs> They're gonna do better. Well, actually, looking at it now, I'm like, God, I should have been top side with my team. Holy shit! Now you're gonna. What are you? Holy! She she has ult. She's gonna laugh at you. She, she, she's melee forming you because like, she's horrible. And she's so I tried to like flash ult her into the turret. Don't do that. Like ever. Don't ever do that. Like your the nudge on your ulti is like super shitty and. Small. Like I thought I could, like make a play here. Here, so she stands from where you are right now. So like there, you see how small that is, right? It it seems bigger in game when you're looking at like the particle effect. Like I know <laughs> I know the distance you dash is huge. The distance Ravana dashes is like eight hundred or something. Hold on, let's wiki wiki Shivana. Oh, have I spelled that right? Oh, it's only one end. I thought it was. I think it's like eight hundred range on her. I thought what I was doing there was like the equivalent of like. Pulling someone under turret is a blitzcrank. Yeah, target range 850, more than 800. That's the range. Your actual knockback range, defense range, just a circle radius. But it is, right? Oh, it's your auto attack range. Dragon is it attack. under show more? Or maybe not? Get ability details at the bottom right. Well, she'll be. Uh. Better inter Where's the knockback? Dash it. Mention the knockback. I don't think it does. Knockback on Yeah, but anyway, that was that was me getting like way too hypey. <laughs> it is a knock up. Not the knockback, it's knock up. But I should probably add a thing. Anyways. It's a, it is a knock up though, where it's not on there. We all know that because it's a So I honestly thought I could like I thought I had her there, dude. So why you don't have her is there's I'll name like five reasons. First of all, your uh, HP I, is so uh, looking at it now, there's a fuck ton of minions. Which... Let's, let's name five things off the top of my head. This is a this is like a thousand damage per second, so not that. It's like three hundred damage, one hundred damage. Let's say let's, are let's you gonna nice. uh... <laughs> let's nice. It's a hundred damage per second plus her. It's two hundred damage per second. So in five and seconds, yeah, yeah, in five seconds you're dead. That's if straight up auto attacks. Um, let's see. So you ulting. She can kite you and literally you can literally take zero damage. That's two. Three, she has ulti, you don't know that, and then she laughs at you and you just get stunned and die. Four, um, let's go look at her score. Oh shit, she's um she got items. Pretty fed. You you got items too, but like I guess that's debatable. That's only three reasons. You can see how awkward and bad this is. Here also, how much invested? Oh, here's another here's fourth. If you kill her, what do you get? <laughs> A sense of pride and accomplishment. <laughs> it doesn't get you LP, but it doesn't win you the game. <laughs> yeah. This actually leads to they can. Inst there's no. There's no enemy jungler, which is you, on their perspective. They get to just do this Baron. This chick dies. They should do Baron right right now. Are they gonna do Baron? No, they're stupid. As <laughs> oh, this is low, low silver, high bronze. Does it? Does this? Does this hurt? Uh, yeah. Like they're just gonna, they're just gonna like do nothing. Like they kill two people at thirty, at twenty five minutes, and they're just like, oh, we're gonna lose a tower. <laughs> That's what they're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fast forward. Fast forward. Whatever you can find. Set up. So set this up. So fuck this. Fuck having this extra cloth armor. Have control wards. At this point, you probably want a scanner or a sweeper because they they don't have vision. But like, let's assume they actually had vision. You can clear all of these wards and traps and everything. That way you can avoid things. I mean, they have only like four wards because they don't ward at this rank, but you might actually, actually, at lower ranks, you might actually get away with just keeping it. You need to make use of it. Wait, am I about to go for the fucking wraiths? I, I don't know. This, uh, 
you're better be warding and walking away. This that's too deep. This is too that, that's too deep of a ward. No, 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 don't go for Oh, no, no. No. No, no, you're you should still die. You should still die. Okay, they don't know how to stand over a wall. They think they think Shivana can't hop over walls apparently. They think Shivana's like okay. like no dash champion, okay. She's chasing me like a fucking now she's dead, okay. She dies, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So you kill her. Just don't don't fight this guy. Don't fight this guy. Don't fight okay. Here's why you <laughs> don't fight this guy. Even if you can kill him, you're risking so much. Cause if he dies, what do you get? And if you die, what do they get? If you die they okay, get so so if you die, they get barren. If he dies, um, you can delay their barren, I guess. But you got super low and get out of the fight, and then they have to. I mean, I got like caught the fuck out though. Like, there's there wasn't really a getaway at this point. Really, there's no there's no getaway for you. Because I I I wasted ulti getting over red wall. So you're saying you can't just run down to your team, with your W. All right. Uh, so hold on, let's start this from the very start, like after oh, the I, I, I could have got away. So right, I, right here. Yeah, I think what happened was I thought I could like and take him. him. Yeah. So here, uh, instead of walking into him, you're gonna fight him consistently. Also, do you? I don't know if you can. I'm not. I'm not micromanaging your mechanics. But I think you cancel like four auto attacks. I could be. Wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong there, but. Let's, let's, see, let's, 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 see, let's see how many autos you, you cancel. <laughs> First, that thing has to do whatever. So here, see if okay, you're supposed to auto queue because it's an auto reset. Okay, auto walk back. You don't cancel any. Right, see, and this is where I'm like, oh wait, I can get this. And I was like, oh wait, he was doing like the stun shit. <laughs> like, I think if I walked back and dodged the stun, I would have had him. Mechanically no speaking, was, like, right there. Mechanically speaking, yeah, you could have played that out better. Like, dodge a stun and like, hiding him a lot more between your spells and Q. Because you don't. Okay, so maxing your DPS on Shivana. Do you know what an auto attack reset is? Yeah. Okay. So, auto attacking and then doing. It's, it, isn't it like the same as like a uh, Hydra with my Q? Um, yeah, it is. You'd want to auto attack, then use the reset because that does more damage than using the spell, then the auto attack in a shorter period of time. So I think what happened here is like I got really cocky because like, I'm three levels on this bitch. Let's do, let's do an example of that. Let's assume by default, um, okay, so your attack speed, let's assume, is one, right? Point zero zero for simplicity, right? So that means every second you attack once. Let's say you do 100 damage every second, right? Mm -hmm. Let's assume that your spell does 200 damage. The monitor capture. Okay, and this is 100 damage. So, oh my god, dude! I just fuck. I should have challenging smite. That too. Holy shit! I might be. I might actually be on cooldown. I don't know. That's because bu cooldowns are bugged whenever you're playing. Oh. Flash gone. Anyways, not that important. So, so this will apply everywhere that this challenging smite only applies sometimes. So, if you do the two hundred damage, let's just say. Let's assume these both take Wait, one. What the fuck is my fizz alting? Zoning or some shit, whatever. <laughs> so let's say that each of these take um one second, second, second. Probably move these over, but so if each of these takes one second, you have to actually wait. So if you continue uh, continuously auto attack, it's one plus one plus one. And if for some reason your Q is always off cooldown, um, do that one. But this will reset your auto attack. Call it reset. Even though it takes 
one second to do this, you can start it earlier by cutting the down time on the previous thing. So it's one minus, I guess, half a second. One minus, really ugly, 0 0.5. Because it will cut down on the previous thing by half a second. Yeah. So let's say a total of 0 0.5. That's not actually how it works. So yeah, it's one minus half a second. So if you if you start off by just doing one, but you have nothing to subtract from, just one, right? So instead of one plus one plus one, which equals three seconds, you can do one plus one and then do an auto cancel, which gives you the point five. Yeah. So you do the same amount of damage in two point five seconds as a do as opposed to doing it in three seconds. Correct. That's what I was trying to explain. It's just a bunch of math. Yeah, I actually I could have outplayed this, honestly. Yeah, you could have, but it's like mechanical and stuff. Like as soon as uh what is it called? The counter strike. Yeah, counter -Strike. I think I step back into him. Like, well, like if I stepped away. Like I was borderline. I think what I was thinking was like, oh I wanna have him in uh my W range to do damage. But then at the same time he was like counter striking. Alright, he has Hydra, he's fucking me, he's fucking the shit out of me. If I had just like walked south, like like another few units, I would have dodged his son. I would have been able to kill him. Yeah, you could have. Same time. Wait, why? Are you, why isn't she just? Actually, she blew him up. Him should be able to win this really easily. Really easily. I have one person here. Here, this tower is still on the one. Fucker too. Here, let's get land priorities. Yeah. But the reason why I say just avoid that fight is because... Wait, what is priority? I've, I've like, when I'm watching LCS and shit, like, I hear them say priority a lot, but... Um... I like, uh... Like, lane priority? Say one, there's, like, miles harder. Yeah. Like, um, what is priority? Um... You have control of what other people are doing. They're forced to respond to you. And your choices. So... When so, you... if you, like, if I push a minion wave into their turret, they have to respond to the wave. So Generally. I have her. Generally, yeah. Let's let's give you an extreme example. An extreme example is if you're five and zero in lane, they have no options against you except the ones you give them. Oh, okay. sorry, dude, my my laptop went to sleep again. Okay. So if you're five, let's if say you're five and low. Oh, in lane, let's say it's a lane one on one, right? The uh -huh. enemy laner has no options. The only options they have is the ones you give them. Make sense? So basically. I have leverage over the enemy laner because yeah. I'm fed as fuck, so I have priority. That's an extreme example. See, LCS is literally like a minion wave or like something. So wait, does um let's say I'm five and zero in lane, right? And the minion wave is like dead center. I have priority even though the minion wave isn't under the enemy turret. What? Because I'm stronger. Oh, if you're five and zero, um, yeah, because you can yeah control it. Like you can dictate how this minion wave will play out. You can zone them. You can pressure them. You can ward. They can't just free farm because they have to respond to what you're doing. So basically, whenever they say priority, it basically means that, like, in that specific situation, they have leverage. Yes. So it's it's not referring to, like, the minion wave or anything like that. It's just referring to, like, who has power in this specific happenstance. Yes. If I'm assuming that's what it says. That's, that's when I say it. That's when a lot of people say it. So, yeah. So, like, even though, like, I could be pushed under turret, even though if I'm, like, 5-0, and 0, I still have priority. Because I can just kill the guy. Well, yeah, if you're under tower and you're five and zero, oh, you're either I'm a, if you're not freezing it, if you're actually just under tower, there's obviously like like a huge amount of variables and like people don't always they just say priority because it's easier than saying you're the situation of the minion wave and the champion and it's like in the room and then moving. Yeah. <laughs> no one's yeah. gonna say that. If you're under tower, you're probably gonna be forced to clear the minions. So they have like the like advantage of having being able to ward. So they have temporary recall. priority. Like yeah, I'm forced to. Yeah, because they're imposing, the they're yeah. forcing me to do a specific action. Yes. When you can force another player, to, like a lot of the game at higher ranks is based off of that because they know how they're supposed to respond to set actions. At lower ranks, they have no ideas on what's going on. They're trying to go champion, let's go kill them. Minion, let's go farm that. 
tower, maybe <laughs> take it. <laughs> they don't they don't think oh the, and this wave of the champion strength. I'm like they have this cooldown. Okay, they have lots of more wave clear. I have to play back further. Their jungler has more lane pressure because he's playing Lee Sin early. I have to play further back. We'll outscale them though as long as we don't like die in the first 15 minutes. We don't give them too much. We should be fine. So I mean, like technically, this entire game, I should have had priority. Yes, because I'm farmed as fuck. Yeah, like I am farmed as fuck, dude. Yeah, but I oh, should. Yeah, yeah, you have like on him, but you don't do anything with it. That's why I said, right? Because any, no matter how much gold you have, you don't really punish him for staying bot lane or top lane for two minutes at a time. He's allowed to stay in these bushes because if you see him in the first when he jumps on Catlin around five minutes or something. You let him stay here. In. You touch your jungle. Like this guy's been up here for a minute. Now when he ganks spot lane, whenever the heck that happens, around nine minutes, you let him stay down here for so long and do nothing. That's why he gets away with being fed. Like, so basically, I had priority the entire game, but I did nothing with him. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. people don't really call it that in this case because it's more like you're not forcing him to do anything. I had I had pressure, but I didn't really. Yeah, you had uh, push I guess it. like pressure or options. You had like a lot of things you could do, like, but instead you just kind of let him get away with it. Or were we twenty five, twenty six? I guess I played like uh, I think it was like uh, it was like third from the right red uh, red circle shit or something. Third, like uh, on like the timeline, like two red dots over to the right. That blue line, the big, the thick blue line. For this is I think. Yeah, I think. that I don't. No. Yikes! I didn't want to see that one again. <laughs> well, they, don't, they don't do the Baron for some. Reason. I feel like this tower instead. I feel like I had in my mind like Shivana farm jungle, and I took that home, and I just like over farmed instead of actually like doing anything with it. Because you have to realize at what point you. Is your goal to actually take towers? Because there's a lot of really bad Nasus players. They'll be like, "Hold on, let me get 20 more stacks, 100 more stacks." Bitch, you have a thousand stacks. I'm take a tower right now. Because that happened a few games ago. Yeah, some people will be like, "Well, let me just keep stacking." Like, they don't know when you have enough stacks to actually do something. Like, when the Nasus has 200, 300, 400 stacks, that's enough to be part of a fight, depending on what time he has that at. Right? He has 400 stacks 20 minutes in. Join a team fight. It's fine. It's a fucking nice amount. It's a good amount. It like obviously depends on a lot of things, but some people will be like, "Hold on, let me just uh, stay in lane, and get like an extra sixty stacks, and uh, just make this this team fight's gonna be lost." Though. Don't worry. Oh, I don't want to watch this again. Oh no! Yeah. Damage the Counter Strike. Mechanically, it's, you, mechanics only get you so far. The shizms get you like, way further than mechanics. Dude, honestly, like the like the big mistakes I made this game are longer than a fuck DVS receipt. <laughs> Holy shit! Here, whatever. Three players, your team wins this. Cool. Tower, it dies, right? Yeah. By the way, a lot of this late, that entire tower died to minions. Imagine if you did something about that earlier. Yeah. Uh, let's get down here. Still on my control words because hate them apparently. This. Okay. When's this, when the hell is this thing has been spawning for a long time? Just worry about this thing. Because doing the little scuttle crab, especially like after towers are gone, it's mostly to control the objective, not for the goal. Going for the inhib? Go for the inhib. Don't don't fuck the ground. Okay, cool. This is okay as long as you go for the inhib. Go for go for the in what? No, no, no. <laughs> you, were, you were fine going for the inhib. You were fine going for the inhib. That's that's fine. <laughs> Now you're just recalling and force. They already got the in. Just go for their in him because that's already dead. Go for their in him. By the time Wait, you recall, can you back it up like thirty seconds and show full vision. Oh uh, sure. Oh wow, that was free as fuck. <laughs> like I, I, like here, I was thinking I was like, oh, I can make an, like an ulti play mid lane and like push them into the Annie stun. Even if you, let's say, best case scenario, you kill both of them. You get two towers, they get inhib and they get Nexus tower. Because you decided to do fight mid lane. That's the best case scenario, right? And based on their positioning too, that inhib was quite like, free. Like, their, their fucking AD is dead. Yeah, like, this, this is just, worst, like, worst case, if you go for this inhib, 
This is this is already fucking gone at this point, so there's no point in recalling for this. If you recall for this, it's already gone. There's like your team should be recalling for it. Or like And then uh you don't recall. I'm sure I could the looks. You recalling right now does absolutely nothing because the inhibs already dead. They're already running away. I think I fucking panicked, dude. I saw like two people running their base. I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna end the game. They can't because your team's going there. I mean you, you guys please guys. Have all team, your team at. Okay, sure, you can play the peel. Sliver is kind of useless, though. I, I think I'm going to die here, though. So I think i Okay. Hey. Better choices than ulting in this team fight. Fog of War, a, a bit more fair. Let's actually put it into the game. So they have two squishies back here. They have a Yorick over here. They ha You have a useless Sliver, because this bitch is 3 and 9, and she has two items 30 minutes in. I mean, that's my fault, though. I didn't really focus bot side. That's dying. That, that's, you lose lane, that's your fault. I mean, like, yeah, like, you could have always, like, pressured this Jaxxer ship, but them losing lane is their fault. Here. Wait, what was the resurrection? Was that GA or was yeah, that. Yes, GA. Should we, no, let's see, wait, am I wrong? Fuck. Was it G. Wait, what does his ulti do? Yeah, it gives him bonus MR. And. Uh oh. Wait, yeah, yeah, okay, it's, so... yeah. It is GA, yeah, it is GA. I thought that was the wrong champion. Yeah. So here, your fizz is coming down. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, where the? Hold on. Wait, I, I wait, I, 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 I wait, 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 what the fuck? I didn't know he ulted this. Hold on. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know he ulted this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, oh, do we just see the same thing? Yeah, the circle thing of fizz ulti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my bad. I, I, I thought, I thought, you were... hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind, this is the right option. <laughs> Holy god. I was gonna say you could alt into these guys and this would follow up. But <laughs> okay, I guess no. Wait, he's he's taking the long path too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just focus on this fight, I guess, whatever. Back off now because right, you're too late. So low. I should back off now. I think I do I dive here? This can probably clear up both of these guys even without his ulti. I mean, you know, he know and doesn't auto the minion. That work. So I should just run the Baron right now. Um, yeah. Good. You're kind of low. You should probably recall. Set up Baron. Set up Baron. And your Krogs are going to die. Valuable. At this point in the game, farming your jungle when you're... You could farm your jungle still. But Vision is like 10 times more useful if they're under gold right now. You know what's... Like the most... Are, oh my god. I, I don't even like watching replays because it's disgusting that I have that much more farm but I'm so much more useless. Because farm's farm's always great, it's cool. But like have to use it. Okay, so we just ping the Baron. Alright. Well now they're we all alive. This. Now it's super don't do this no 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 no. When they're I dead never pinged it. I think we start it and then I think no. we die. Yeah, yeah you you will die because you should not be doing this. Your entire team's That's... over here are dead. Two of you. This will take you one minute to do, or it will take you a really long time to do. Their team is can you alive. Show full vision. I Wait, will. can you? Wait, they're, they're, back right up like, they're 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 they're, they're right over here. Like, they're right over here right now. I'll show you. They're over here. Oh, disgusting! Oh my god. You don't know where they are, but I'm. If you can actually track people through Fog of War, which is what I did basically, I knew they were here, and like I didn't say over here, but they were they were there. Oh, this, for some reason, this this for some reason this bitch is over here. Don't know why she's there. You know, this is just low rank, so I don't expect people to do blue buff when they're doing Baron. Um, so we're getting collapsed on. Yeah, you, you're, you're, and you're wait, boned. Wait, hold on. Can you back it up like five more seconds and show Fog of War? Did I, did I see them collapsing on us? Fog of War? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. No. When you see them, like, eventually. All right, yeah, you, okay, you see Jax. All right, so I get a flash of the Jax. And then I should know they're there because they use the flame. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, I'm gonna keep staying on this. No, no, no. And yeah, I should have peeled off immediately. You should not even be doing this, Baron. You're already dead. You don't even. Actually, does that actually save you? Okay, I'm wrong. Apparently, I'm wrong. I would have altered away just because it's lower cooldown. Don't walk back in. Don't don't walk back. No. If you kill him, no. Okay. You, apparently, you live and kill him. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. But... That's risky as fuck. And I'm probably doing my- wait, hold on, pause it. Pause it. Oh, are they on Baron now? They should be. 
fight. <laughs> so we win that fight, and then I decide to go do my blue buff, but... It's just, it's just risky as fuck. <laughs> not doing it, whatever. It's fine, they show up, man. Oh my god. I think I had a fucking stroke during this game, and I would just, just power farmed. <laughs> like, yikes, dude. Watching it back is so painful. <laughs> You got your TM at last. Yeah, I'm gonna find you actually do that to look at this point. Have you frozen? The other armor. Dead man. You can also get a dead man's plate in this case because they have quadruple AD instead of the frozen. Yeah, that probably would have been pretty good. Oh, wait, hold on. Can you back it up? I want to see the quadra. <laughs> yeah, sorry to sorry this game's so long. Sorry you're like oh, spending so much of your time. <laughs> So, You're in like the depths of Elo Hell. You know, it's not Elo yeah, Hell, this is just uh this is comedy. So she's melee. Right, so okay, so back it up five more seconds. And then we'll we'll, we'll play it from the Shivana perspective. The Shivana all right. perspective. Alright, okay. okay. Fizz dies. Alright, Fizz is dead. Come on, you play lock screen, so we gotta do this, right? Lock screen? Yeah. I'm trying to break the habit, dude. It's just that's why I play jungle and support, because like I'm not used to unlock screen. This is, this is your perspective? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so Fizz is dead. You just walked into everyone dying. Three other people die. Alright, so three people are dead. Four people are dead. She's oh wow, I have to have I have to help my team. Oh, wait, actually that turned out okay. Oh, no. Ah I could hmm. What do you what do you what do you think? gone the lux there? What are you? What are you? You can't go on anyone here. You can't two of you on anyone. Because at this point in the game, everyone has items. Wait. You just okay, play the breath behind cool. you. You're dead. Okay. And then, oh, uh, get. Yep. Yep. Wow, dude. That, that's and such that's a game. short cooldown. That's game. Yeah. It's a. And, and show the gold in the farm and shit. There's, this is gold. Gold wise, right. you have 15k. And that's like. Totally. I was like. What the fuck is my team doing? They're a bunch of goddamn retards. I have 167 CS up on this Jax. Why are we fucking losing this shit? <laughs> yeah, this is, even with that goal, it's just like, it's, you don't even make it noticeable. It's, like, it, I didn't utilize it at all. You like farm. Yikes. Like you farm, but at the same time, Baron's a thing, you don't ward it. And then like, taking a lot of the jungle because this guy camps like top, then bot lane, and then gets away with it. Cause he'd literally, if you actually punish the Jax, he'd be level like 14. You'd be like basically two levels, you were already three levels over him. But if you're being like five levels over him because of how much he capped spots. And you could actually kill him in his jungle because he'd be stupid. And if the ganks don't work off because if you actually board things for your laners, then hopefully they don't get ganked. Let's yeah. say like, let's say 20% chance because you're at lower ranks. 20% chance they actually look at the ward. As you like move up or whatever, it's like 50, 70, 80% chance to actually look at the ward and be like, oh shit. No, this so at this game. point in the game, I'm like, goddamn bot lane, fucking bunch of feeders, report please. <laughs> at this point, you just look at KDA. Yeah, like, KDA is like, at the end of the world. Like, KDA, well, KDA, if you're looking at KDAs, um, you have literally two point something or less. You have nothing to say because it's like normal things. Your KDA is like three plus. So it's, again, yeah, KDA, my farm is actually disgusting this game. But I did nothing with it. People always go for like 10 CS a minute, ever. Which is like... I mean, considering your entire team lost their defense, like, save time, like, do other stuff. No questions, comments, ideas? At this point, like, you already done. Um... I mean, I, I learned a shit ton, like... Holy shit. Like, my mind got blown multiple times. There's wards, there's objectives, there's... Avoid making pointless fights because you not do them, you can just farm your jungle camps. Um, I feel like the huge, like, two takeaways I have from this... Uh, the first one that blew my goddamn mind is I need to pay attention to my enemies on the loading screen. Because yeah, that, like, flash. Jinx was free as fuck the entire game. Like, I could have just fucking tented mid... Like, set up a fucking campsite mid lane, and the game would have been over. And then, the second thing, 
is I should be paying attention to um, my laner's health compared to the enemy laner's health. And seeing, like, like uh, the example that you said earlier, like, you could just walk into his jungle because their fucking bot lane has, like, no health. What are they going to do? Are they going to contest that? No, you just fucking run down the Zaya. Zaya was, Zaya was way earlier. No, it was, like, it was a really early game. But, like, Zaya was really low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I could have just walked into that shit and just, like, counter jungle the fuck out of him. But I'm low, Eric. So, like, right here, if you pause it, all right, what are they going to do? Lux has no mana. Zai has no health. She's recalling. I can just clear out his bot side jungle. Easy. The lit enemy team, especially at lower ranks, gives you so many openings. Options. You can, you can get away with doing a lot of mistakes, which is what you... You get away with their dragon. You get away with, like, not taking... Oh, yeah. I got away with... They don't punish uh, the word, you. The word, oh, sorry. Oh, you go, go over soon. Oh. Um, I, I, this might sound weird, but I feel like certain junglers have, like, different play styles. That is true, yeah, to an extent. Because, um, like, the other jungler I play is Warwick. And when I play Warwick, like, I feel like I clear camps super quick. And I know I'm strong enough to just, like, walk up all in their shit. You just, you just fucking walk into their jungle, and you just fuck them. You can do like that with easy money. a lot of different... And... So I guess what I don't understand is, like, the difference between Warwick and, Sh and Shivana in terms of how... They both have, like, their own unique ways of, like, pressuring and adding to the game. Because, like, with Warwick, I know I'm a very strong duelist. Like, it's super easy to fight the enemy jungle. I can potentially 1v2 when I'm ahead. But on Shivana, like, I feel like it's more like I just need to farm, I need to farm. I gotta hit my items, we gotta team fight. But on Warwick, I'm, like, I'm like super cocky, you know, it's a duel, it's, like, fight. So I guess I need to learn uh, the play style of Shivana a little bit more. Else. Stop you there, I guess. Like in the sense, Warwick and Shivana are super similar in the sense that they're both melee duelists that are really strong in skirmishes and become less useful in team fights. Warwick is more useful in team fights than Shivana, reason being he has a lot more utility. This is why Shivana, like, she's really she's still good in team fights, but compared to having an AOE fear and suppress, to have a knockback. Alright, so I guess my final question is, um, what jungler do you play? I personally, I play junglers that have almost the ex not the exact same playstyle, but they're very similar in the sense of I play Shivana, Udyr, Warwick, and I want to pick up Zinzel, but I don't really care. I mostly play Udyr. He seems strong now. Udyr seems really strong too. I have a shard for him. I'm like, I'm tempted to pick it up. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, probably like this is just the game wise. But outside of game and a lot, a lot of other things, you'd want to focus on getting an actual champion pool. This is more important than everything in game because if you know how to play one champion, let's say one tricking, it's a lot easier to understand. Yeah, it's a lot less. You learn a lot less that way, like of the actual game. But you learn and focus on one thing. Let's say you focus on okay, I'm gonna go this game. I'm gonna make sure I. Don't die more than one time. And like focus on super small things every game. And once you learn, let's say, let's say you play 10 games, those 10 games you only died once each time or less. And you can go from, okay, now I'm going to focus on having 100 CS with that. Or like 100 CS, CS like 10 minutes and like progress from there. And then I'm going to focus on it, always warding Dragon at set time, always warding at Rift Herald and Baron. I'm going to focus on getting a 22 minute Baron. In, I play normal games, right? When I play normal games, like, I just take Baron at 22 minutes. Like, I take it when it spawns, and then it takes two minutes to kill. You don't play a normal game? Right now? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm not saying I do this all the time, though. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like it's a common thing. 
Like, I also int very often, too. Not int, but like, I literally just die. If you want, I don't know. Do you want, uh, right. do you want me to post this video or just give you a copy of it? Uh, you can post it if you want to. Stop recording, I guess.